just a little, just enough. Rough and tender, tender, tough. Now let it be. Hello and welcome to France 24's weekly music show. I'm Marjorie Hash and this week we're taking a techno rock turn with uh, Maelstrom and uh, Louisa who recently released their first joint album Sustained Resistance in which they tackle topics like angst, depression and self-disillusionment in the style of beat poets. All this to the sound of engrossing sometimes hypnotic breakbeat techno which touches on jungle and gabber. Louisa and Maelstrom, thank you so much for popping by. The Thanks for having us. Delighted to be here. <laughs> So good to have you. Now, Louisa, you're a US citizen based in France. You're French, Malson. I am. How did you meet? Uh, we were set up like <laughs> <laughs> uh, by Louis Brodinski because we were um, working on an EP for his label, Romance, that we were both a part of. And the the connection, I showed up on Miles' doorstep uh, in Nantes, like a foreign exchange student. And <laughs> he housed on me for a week. On her first day. On my first day. Speaking no French. <laughs> and here we are a decade later. So. Yeah, a great collaboration that's led you to start up your own uh, record label, RAR. Uh, you've also worked on each other's tracks. But like, what brought you to like start saying, OK, we're going to make an actual album together? I think like um, it, it happened really naturally, but it, it took it took a long time. It took 10 years. But then uh, I think we needed all these years to get to the point where we felt we had something to say that was worth making such a statement because it's um, a bit intimidating. Mm -hmm. So. So, yeah, I think it was also like the decade thing, maybe. I don't know. What would you say? I would say definitely those things. And then also kind of post COVID, it felt like actually the world was ready for kind of a no holds barred uh, expression of like what, as you were saying, like disillusionment and frustration and also a lot of hope and joy. Mm -hmm. And I felt like we could finally stop kind of performing and, and really make something real. Uh, and, yeah. and here we are. <laughs> Has your sound changed a bit on this record compared to previous work? Do you th would you say it's evolved in a specific way? It has. I think, like, uh, as Louisa said, like, post-COVID, there was no, at least for, like for us, I think there was no reason to uh, hold back. Mm -hmm. And I, I'd say the sound is much more radical than, yeah. even though we were already a bit <laughs> radical before, yeah. but I'd say we really went as far as we could in terms of... Uh, you know, sound design and deciding what needs to be there and what needs to uh, to stay out. So yeah. Yeah, and let's talk about the track, the title of uh, this album, "Sustained Resistance." Where did you pick that one up? <laughs> Um, I think it's <laughs> apparently all of the albums that I involved in have like a bell hooks <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> root. And there was a quote uh, from her uh, surrounding this idea of sustained resistance that it's in fact like not a kind of it's not a one time thing. And I feel like for us, this idea of kind of continuously like waiting farther out and trying to make something that feels brave and challenging in a market that might not um, support that feels like really important to us and it also feels like I think it, it kind of ties ties us together and, and and like a lot of the imagery is surrounding kind of like a, a force of tension that yeah. is like that holds us yeah and I think that that's uh yeah it's and it doesn't feel intentional necessarily but it's kind of like the the nature that our work has organically and and it's it's a delight oh, well <laughs> let's check out this delightful track from your new album Books. A track taken from Louisa and Maelstrom's joint album. It's called Vixen and it touches on political outrage over women's sexual and reproductive rights, amongst others. Um, how much does French or um, American politics or just global international politics play into the themes you, you touch on in your lyrics and music writing? I mean, I think for both of us, techno is like a political act and, and the club is a political space uh, that's really about liberation. Mm -hmm. And so for us, it's really important to kind of keep that as a, a space of discourse 
fact that it's not just because we're artists we shouldn't have anything to say like shut up and make music like that's clearly not what we're going for and so to kind of have a a, a place to express all that stuff and you know have a, have a strong point of view about it it feels like really really important to our work mm. you've uh, both been very vocal on social media about how streaming platforms underpay artists and in the US there's been like strikes for script writers mm -hmm. uh, and it's been quite effective do you think uh, that was going to ripple down onto the music industry at all or is I mean as much as I'd love to believe that I don't think that's going to happen mm -hmm. because the I'd say the economics of it don't really work it's I think it's a bit different in Hollywood or on TV because there's money and it needs to be shared you know differently but the, the the music ecosystem is still not profitable so I don't see how they actually could pull that off and, and, and make it happen so it's more about I mean what we're trying to say is that there's different ways of consuming music and the actual like commodification of it and the, the way it works today doesn't work for us mm -hmm. and for many many artists like most of you know people actually making music these days mm -hmm. so it's more about showing people what other avenues exist to uh, support the work we do mm -hmm. if they want to. Yeah, and they should. And so they should. Um, but going back to touring, because you're touring around the Europe and, and the world at large uh, at the minute, and you've toured before as a live band on your previous project, Louisa, uh, with uh, sort of a rage cage uh, in, the, in the mix. <laughs> the uh, this, baby. this one is a, a sort of semi DJ set, semi um, live show. Can you tell us a bit more? about what we can expect live when we go and see you? Well, the, the, the beauty of this project is that it's very light on its feet and therefore it can kind of transform from either like 90 minutes of original material, kind of more of in a concert setting, to uh, up to six hours mm -hmm. <laughs> or more, who knows? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the sky's the limit of kind of original material wo woven into a DJ set. And mm -hmm. this kind of gives us a lot of space to play and a lot of ways to kind of explore our connection, which is really nice. Mm -hmm. And there's like uh, also, I think, an improvisation aspect to it. So mm -hmm. because when you play with a band, you have to, and, and like lights and everything, yeah. there's, there needs to be a structure that's timed. Yeah. Uh, in, in the case of this tour, we don't have that, so we can really decide on the track list and you know the tempo and everything can change mm -hmm. depending on where we play, what the crowd is like, and, and all that. So there's a really fun thing about it. And too. more freedom as well. Yes. Yeah. Way. yes. yeah no, that's Always excellent. more freedom. <laughs> <laughs> well, how about we check out some of the other uh, new releases that are out uh, this week? And we're going to start off here in France, where Christine and the Queens, who became Chris, then Redcar, and now seems to be back to Christine and the Queens. Watch that space. Anyways, he has just released his new album, Paranoia Angels True Love. Here's one of his latest singles. And you can catch duets with Madonna and Zero Seven Shake on this new record. It's pretty much the second part to his previous album that came out last November. Louisa Malmström, can we expect a second part two album? You know, it's quite fashionable at the minute for artists to do. Here's one album six months later. Actually, yes. Great you question. Can. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, I mean the, the point of it for us is that uh, we've transformed the tracks in the context of the live shows a lot, and, and half the tracks from the album have evolved into something entirely new. Mm -hmm. So we are going to release like a second part of the album with the live versions of it. Oh, exciting! Yeah. So um, over now to a U.S. Ghanaian pop star, Amare, whose body of work has evolved around gender and race. She's releasing her second album, Fountain Baby. Let's check out the video. For for co-star, a witty celebration of star signs.
And she also features on Danielle Monet's new album, The Age of Pleasure, which is also out this week. And I'm afraid that's all we've got time for on France 24's music show. Uh, Louisa and Maestrom, thank you so much for coming on and telling us about Sustained Resistance, your new record. Uh, go check them out live if you can, because they are fabulous. And uh, remember that our latest news bulletin is coming up in just a few minutes, which gives me enough time to remind you to follow our culture news on France24.com and, of course, our social media at Encore F24. We're going to play out with South African artist Dope Saint Jude, who's just dropped a new track over the weekend that's entitled Alphas. It features bold, confident, queer people from her homeland, a fantastic track that hits the spot alongside Prime's Month. I like a grown woman with her own life. Baby, put that up on my face. You like my style? Baby, I'm a baddie. Yeah. Matter of fact, you can call me daddy. You like my style? Baby, I'm a baddie. Yeah. We can both be alpha. I like it when you play with me. I like it when you gay with me. We can both be alpha. I like it when you play with me. I like it when you gay with me. We can both be alpha. I like the way that you groove. I like the way that you use. We can both be alpha. I like the way that you move. The best of culture every day on France 24, with exclusive interviews with the most talked about people in entertainment. Encore's Eve Jackson and Olivia Salazar Winspear bring you the latest from the world of art and entertainment. Our critics Marjorie Hash and Florence Villemino speak to the biggest names in music, and Lisa Nesselson and Deep Ticker Laurent share the newest must see films and TV series. Join us every day for the latest from the world of arts and culture on Encore.